Well, if you've got a sweet tooth like me and you're looking for something to do this weekend, you may want to check out the Indulge LA Chocolate and Pastry Festival. Here to tell us about it is Alan Semsar and pastry chef Chris Harvey. Welcome, gentlemen. Oh, thank you. Thanks for having us. Good to have you. This looks absolutely fantastic. Before we get to the treats, tell me a little bit about the festival, what folks can expect. Well, you know, we brought 50 of the best chefs in the world together. And of course, we have Chris Harvey from SLS right here in Beverly Hills. Mm -hmm probably the number one pastry chef in Southern California. So you're gonna get an experience of all the varieties from the chocolates to the dark chocolates to the pastries. We even got a little savory for you. Wow. Some mole tacos if you wanna get a little savory on side. <laughs> and then we got all that paired with different beverages like Ciroc Vodka, Grand Marnier, uh, Moreno, Avion Water, whatever you, you you're kind of wanna go that direction, yeah. we got you covered. So you're covered from A Absolutely. to Z. <laughs> and where's it taking place? Oh. It's at the Olympic Collection, which is in West LA. Mm -hmm. Best part is right off the 405 and the 10. I know well, Sautel and Olympic, right there. Absolutely, right in the center at the heart of it all. That's a great and spot. And one of the sweetest things about this event is that all the money goes to St. Jude. And uh, you know, what a better way to treat our guests uh, other than to give them some sweets and pastries because we take care of some sweet kids. That's absolutely yeah. fantastic. Now, Chris, you're the man. I want you to take me through what we're, ta well, what we're looking at here. Well, we, we, have our, <laughs> <laughs> we have the Beverly Hills Lips, uh, almond and raspberry. I love that. <clears throat> we have our, it's our tribute to the women of Beverly Hills. I love them. And this is our brownie. What's inside of this? Uh, that is a ganache of raspberry and almond praline. Wow. So you can actually bite into that and get into that. I'm, I can? Yeah, oh, we're wow. serving them Sunday. And this mm. is uh, our milk chocolate mousse with uh, mm. calamansi, I mean, forgive me, yuzu and raspberry gelée. And talk a little bit more about this. Uh, this is a so brownie. Great. Yeah, it's just it's a traditional American brownie sponge cake, and has a milk chocolate mousse over the top, and it's decorated with an amaretto cherry from uh, Italy. Great. And a little bit more into depth on this. If well, you it's a no, again, it's a milk chocolate mousse, and it has a raspberry jelly and yuzu. I, I love Asian flavors. So yeah. We did a little uh, Asian flavor in there with the milk chocolate, so it's a little Euro and Asian. Cool. Now it's not often I get to interview one of the greatest pastry chefs on the planet. How did you get into pastry, pastries in general? Was it something that we? Yeah, I was a terrible with? cook. <laughs> I, have two, I have two brothers that are chefs, and I, I started cooking savory. I was terrible at it. So I switched, and I'm a vegetarian too. Oh. So uh, I switched over to that. So it was easier to be a vegetarian and be a pastry chef. That's so. interesting. And what was the first great pastry that you remember making? Uh, I can remember the first thing I made, and it was uh, probably just creme brulee. But uh, you know, I, you always evolve in it, and you try to get better and better, and yeah. doing it for 25 years, and just keep trying to get better at it. Yeah, no, and, I'm, and I bet you've never had a tough getting a date. The ladies love the pastry. <laughs> they find all the hours I work and it's over with. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, Alan, before we leave you, tell us a little bit more about some of the brands that will be there and some of the, the people that are helping to participate in this. You know, we have a big crew of the student chefs in Los Angeles mm -hmm. who come out and donate all their time to help our chefs produce uh, their beautiful pieces. Well, one of the best things about the chocolate festival, as soon as you walk in, you kind of start getting it here because the lights are warming yeah. up the chocolate. It you get does. that smell, oh, I live for that smell. <laughs> and that's the first thing that most of our guests get as soon as they walk in the door. You know, we hand them this beautiful wine glass, they start drinking a little champagne. But the first thing that hits you as soon as you walk in is that beautiful chocolate flavor. Chef, isn't that great? That's that true, yeah. Oh, never, get, never get over that. It is, and it's wonderful. We're going to indulge. I'm going to bring some to Susie, too, after this. It's oh. really good stuff. But again, this is great stuff. And for more information, just head to our website at kcal9.com and click Scene on TV.